Hello everyone, good morning. How are you doing today? I'm so sorry about that technical uh, problem I have. Um, I'm not used in uh, doing this video. I think this is my uh, third time to the video and it's still, I still don't perfect it. Okay, so today our topic is going to be a uh, thumb problem or thumb uh, disorder or injury in the thumb or commonly called as Dicker Veins Disease. So before we start our topic this morning, I want you to grab a uh, elastic band, or if you don't, if you cannot find an elastic band, you can uh, just grab a ponytail or a scrunchie. And then if you can find a uh, dumbbells or um, a dumbbells or a water bottle, so just um I grab that one <clears throat> uh water bottles uh, uh so water bottles with of course with water so we can use that for our exercise later okay so before that we just have to wait for some people to log in and then we can start our uh discussion all right So let's try this. Am I right? I'm so sorry. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm just trying to figure out something. Give me a second. My apology. Alright. Alright, let me see that. Oops. Where is that? Why I cannot see my post in a in does it take a while to post in a, a Facebook page? Man. Hi, we have a live audience now. All right, let me see. Hi, hi. Can you let me know if my screen is still uh, backward or tilted? <laughs> Sa ating viewer. Ayan. Hi, Debbie. Hello, good morning. How are you? <laughs> I'm going to talk about a uh, thumb injury or overused thumb and I <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how this uh, Facebook works I'm not the techie all right let me see oh still can't figure this out I miss you too hoping to go get back to work <laughs> I'm trying to keep my son from taking to the uh, taking to the uh, daycare. All right, all right. So we're gonna start our uh, topic today. If you have any questions, just let me know. So um, today our topic gonna be uh, thumb tenosynovitis. So painful thumb usually uh, 
the number one complaint of our patients is uh their number one complaint is painful and tenderness so at the base of the thumb here or above the wrist so between here there's a sheath in here that covers covers all, all the tendon so that's the their number one complaint is tenderness and inflammation so that's why they call it uh radial styloid tenosynovitis or commonly known as decurvance disease so if they have um pain and inflammation in this part uh it's stopping them from using a bunch to uh using a gadget so because having this kind of problem uh they usually get it from uh during gaming or during uh using their phone Cause especially now our phone is too big and if you don't have that ring thing at the back i don't have my uh, phone so what we usually do is like for example for my kids tablet so we always use our thumb like this when we do uh when we use the gadget so like that so what happened is uh, especially for our gamer uh, I remember when I was playing that uh, the music one that you have to I know uh, get those point so as the games get crazy and nangyayari is you put more effort on it so until you stay in your phone or stay in your game for a couple hours which you didn't notice you were there for a couple hours so uh what happened to your thumb it was a uh, nagiging ano siya overused so the thumb nagiging overused siya and you're using it for months and years and then you noticed one day like oh my my thumb is so painful what can i do and you stop uh you, and you stop using a gadget however you're thinking that if you stop using your gadget for one week or two weeks, pain will disappear. You know, you need a, um, you need some intervention, you need self-care, and you need some exercises too. And that where physical therapy can help you. And we can, you have to do some exercises in order to improve. Because you need to improve the flexibility of your thumb. You need to improve the... Um, sorry you need to improve the flexibility of your thumb you need to improve the function you need to do the strengthening so with that how are you gonna do it so of course you have to do the exercises okay so I write down how many exercises I have here but before you do your exercise you have to do some self-care. So what are the self-care that you should do at home? You have to do uh, rice. So this is the uh, rice, which which means rest. You need to rest your thumb. You need to put some ice. You need to put some compression. And you need to elevate your hand. So that in order to prevent the swelling. Because you will notice in your thumb uh there's some swelling in there okay okay hi zerk belen yeah you can uh if you just log in here can you grab a uh elastic band and a dumbbell two pounds dumbbell or any water bottle so that we can use it later for our uh exercise okay so where am i so you uh you have to do the rice the rest ice you have to do compression or if you have like a bandage like a small bandage you can compress it do some uh maybe figure of eight uh or any any kind of uh uh how do you do the bandage just as long as you compressed it in this area including the wrist and then and elevate it especially at night put like a pillow on the side and try to put your hand on top of it so that the swelling will reduce 
Okay. So I know you have questions why it has to be a eyes because of the inflammation here. You need to uh, make you don't want the inflammation to get worse. So that's why with inflammation, it constrict everything and uh, it helps to decrease the inflammation. With the uh, hot packs, it will uh, the inflammation uh, the inflammation will get worse. Okay, so um, all right. So that's what you're gonna do for self care. You do rise, ice compression and elevation. Okay. So next. Um, if you have the access now, but during this pandemic, it's hard to, you know, it's difficult to go to the doctor's office. So, I don't know in the Philippines if you can call your if you can call your doctor to just do like a tele tele um, consultation. But over here in the in the states, we can call our doctor and can tell them about our signs and symptoms and sometimes they can give us a uh, prescribed medication so sometimes the doctor will give us uh, medications like NSAID non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication how um yeah that's the one they uh, the doctor will give us if we give them this, uh, if he already knows about your symptoms or if he's really sure that the symptoms you gave to him is about the curvain so that's the one you, uh, he gonna give you is the inset okay then but i think right now here in the states some uh, a lot of doctors office now are are all are open so you can just like walk in in their office and then tell them about your problem however but if you cannot find any doctor you just do the self-care okay I kind of like lost a little bit. All right. So now the best part of this is we can do the exercise. This is a really easy exercise. Okay. Um, if you have your dumbbells with you, just prepare this on the side. Okay. Now let me check again if this might be page is working in my laptop just give me a second right. it's still not working all right okay so the first exercise we're gonna do is the opposition of the thumb okay just pretend that my hand is lying on the desk so pretend this tablet is the desk okay so you're going to put your hand like that and you're going to do the opposition of the thumb. So like that. So put your thumb here and reach the little pinky. So reach the little pinky. Stay there, stay there for six seconds old. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then go back. Then again, one, two, three three four five six and back one two three four five six and back okay you can do this together with me so um the reason the reason why we have to do this opposition is we need to increase the flexibility of our thumb okay so all right so you can do this for six seconds hold and 10 times or if it's really painful you can do it six seconds hold three times then just increase it as you goes on so if it's not that painful in anymore just increase the increase the hold and the number of repetition okay next exercise is the opposition so you can put together your thumb and your little pinky like this just can you see it so put it together it's a little difficult, but it's okay. And then you can hold six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Then you're going to relax. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then relax. So you can do this six seconds hold five to ten times. So these are the two exercises that we can do uh, on top of the table with the palms up, okay? Next exercise is we have here is the uh, stretching of the wrist. So we'll just do this one. Please be cautious that if you're stretching your wrist, just stretch it to the point that you can feel the stretch, okay? Don't overstretch it. If you if you already feel uh, it's too painful, just try to the stretch to the painful uh, painful uh, degrees. So if you feel uncomfortable in this uh, degree, so just stop there and uh, count six seconds. Hold one, two, three, four, five, six. Then relax. Wrist extension. Okay, one, two, three four five six relax don't forget to include over uh, uh the thumb area so you just have to put your hands there and then stretch okay so again try to do this for five uh, six seconds hold five to ten times like that okay then after the wrist extension we can do a wrist flexion so the same thing don't overdo the stretch just stay uh, if you feel uncomfortable in this part, just stop there, okay? So again, don't forget to include this area. And stretch. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, then relax. I just put my my elbow or my hand a little bit higher, but you can do it like in the com comfortable position, okay? Like this. All right. All right. Next, so after we do like the opposition of the thumb and then the little finger, we stretch the wrist, going to extension, going to flexion. And now this is the time that we need a dumbbell. We need a dumbbell or water bottle if you have any. So we're going to try to do our strengthening exercises. Okay, so just pretend that we're in the table, okay? So this is the table, so we just do, do like that, okay? So pretend this is, this is a table, and then let's do the wrist extension. Please, if you start, I have four pounds dumbbell right now. I cannot find a, a light. So, but please start with the lighter one, like one pound or two pounds, so that it will not, I know, mabigla uh, yung hands. Okay, what is mabigla in English? I forgot. <laughs> All right, so let's do the strengthening of the wrist. Again, for those who just uh, check on our live video, this is about uh, thumb injury or the curvings. Okay, so let's do the wrist extension. So with this one, we don't, we don't need to hold it. We just do the 10, 10 times, uh, 10 repetition, two sets. Okay, so again, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then you can take a break shake your hands i know if you have a painful thumb that's really difficult to do it okay so again let's do another set one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right so that's our um uh wrist extension now we'll do the strengthening of the wrist flexion one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so with our strengthening exercise you can just do ten times uh and two sets of exercise okay so we have here some comment let me check my facebook first then we, after this we're gonna do our 
next ex exercise okay so we already did the wrist extension wrist flexion now we do the radial radial deviation <clears throat> all right so I cannot find my, my husband is walking towards me. All right. Next is the radial deviation. So with the radial deviation, I want you to see like this. Like your your palm is uh, positioned like this. Okay. Then when you put your hands. So we're going to strengthen the this part, the radial side or the thumb side. Okay. So we'll do one, two three four five six seven eight nine ten so with the radial deviation exercise we're trying to strengthen with a squeeze ball just pretend this is a squeeze ball okay so with a squeeze ball we just have to do the same thing oops thanks <laughs> so with the squeeze ball we just do a the same thing. We do hold for six seconds and let's do this for five to ten times. Make sure you squeeze you squeeze the finger at uh, the thumb I mean uh tighter. Okay. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you just relaxed. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, then relaxed. All right, so you can do this for six seconds hold for 10 times for the squeeze ball, all right? My husband is doing his uh, massage, doing his gun massager, so I don't know if you can hear the vibration or you can hear it. All right, okay, so, <laughs> all right, next exercise is finger spring exercise. So the finger spring exercise is if you have a scrunchie or an elastic band or any band that you can use, okay? So put your finger inside and then stretch it out. Let's see. Okay. All right. So as far as you can. All right. Then hold six seconds. Hold. One, two, three three four five six then relax next one two three four five six then relax one two three four five six relax one two three four five six relax so i can feel that all the muscles around my fingers they really work. So if you want to try it, it's really good though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So you can do this for six seconds hold and ten times. You know what? What I notice about this exercise, I think this is really good for um for the patients who has a carpal tunnel. So if you have carpal tunnel, you're experiencing a carpal tunnel problem, do this exercise. It really works. It helps to open up the, the tunnel and it can help lessen the, the numbness in your finger and numbness and weakness. All right. So it's really good. So if you want, so you know what the best thing to do is if you only have problem on the right side, try to do the other side too so that it can even out. It can improve also the strength on the both hand or both fingers. So again, guys, that's all the exercises that we have. So just wrap it up. We have the thumb opposition. And then next is the opposition of thumb and the little pinky. So that's the second exercise. Next, we have the wrist extension exercise for stretching. Then we have the wrist flexion, 
that's for our stretching exercise then for our strengthening exercise we do use the dumbbell for wrist flexion wrist extension radial deviation all right radial deviation and then we have the we have the this one the uh, squeeze ball and then the last one is the elastic band all right so those are the exercises so uh, for our thumb problem or for our uh, beaker veins disease so if i can stay here for a little bit if you have any questions just type your questions and then i'm gonna try my best to answer it okay so any questions for me hi auntie nenfa how are you hi faith cherry faith good morning good morning everyone and who else are watching hi john hi mother and chris and debbie ayun um so for those who missed my live video today you can check it back later or you can check to my uh, youtube channel odessa morales pt okay so guys if you have you don't have any more questions stop my live video here and again thank you for visiting and uh, watching my video have a blessed uh, sabbath and God bless everyone. Bye-bye.